Alrighty, got my Jeep running. It's like, I got it running at like 320. It's 326 now, so that was pretty good. I had a bunch of people coming in here, so I made pretty good time getting that back together. I stayed late Friday and put a lot of it back together, and then, uh, no, late Thursday. I didn't stay late Friday. Anyways, that was a big job. I had to pull time and chain everything out of it. But, it runs great. And what The reason for why I had to pull the head off is because the customer tried to tune it up themselves and broke one of the spark plugs off in the cylinder head. So I had to take, and well, I wasn't even attempting to get the insert out. I just went ahead and just pulled the head and sent it to the machine shop. And that is a success story. So things are really definitely news, newsworthy stuff going on over here. If you want to check it out, uh, Orange County athletes who plan to participate in sports this year must have ele electrocardiogram test. And why is that? And I'm gonna read a little bit of the article. High school students in Orange County must take an electrocardiogram test this year to play in sports. This is a new requirement. Seems a bit strange. Could it have been anything to do with the, uh, and then, uh, I'm gonna set this up here to be a little bit easier so we're not moving around so much. Could it be that they see the students who plan to participate in OCPS athletes program must complete a physical each year. New for the 2021 school year, electrocardiogram screenings are required. I don't have to read too much more in this article to tell you what, what we all know is going on because we watch a lot of these high, uh, athletes falling out and that's it that's, that's they're done it's a shame to see that but uh unfortunately the manufacturers of the stuff that causes that are probably going to get away with it scot-free until something big bigger happens because they've got they're able to keep protection from the uh i gotta keep an eye on that thing it's warming up keep protection on them because of the experimental status we'll just leave it at that right there so uh feel so bad and a lot of more information needs to come out need we need to get the truth out about that the Buddha judge Pete Buddha judge you know he's the one that supposedly got pregnant he's p taking pictures of a pregnant belly to me it just looks like he had to take a poop but anyways Buddha judge tells everybody to buy electric gas vehicles I'm sorry electric vehicles to save money on gas average cost of an EV is over fifty five thousand dollars they make cheaper models but they're very short ranged um the cost of one of these vehicles, not to mention this, like, say, for instance, I don't work on them. Not that I'm not against working on them. I just don't, um, I just don't get into it right now because there's not enough of them. And I'm pretty sure when I do decide to start working on them, you can bet that I'm not going to charge my normal rate to fix these things because they're probably going to be a lot more to it. You know, luckily I do have a, a little bit of an experience. I'm feeling popping off the toilet. I have some experience on an electronic background, but it would be a new territory for me to get into. So not only the added cost of what a vehicle costs to buy, just finding somebody to work on it and then finding parts for it. Like I doubt seriously I'm going to call AutoZone and get a speed control module or whatever it takes to do whatever it does on those vehicles. They're going to laugh at me. So right now, that's kind of a little bit out of touch. That just goes to show you how some of the elites don't really seem to understand how things really work. So Biden pulls trip to Saudi Arabia. Uh, I'm sorry, Biden mulls trip to Saudi Arabia to begin for more oil as he shuts down domestic drilling. So I had done a paper that Manchin wanted to start, you know, reopening the wells that we already have, our Keystone pipeline, which was like 10 days from being finished. And uh, he's decided that we're going to get it from, let me look at the country here because the country he's going to get it from, I need to read this a little bit. Joe Biden may travel to Saudi Arabia to begin them uh, begin uh, to beg them for more oil as he shuts down domestic pipelines and freezes new leases on drilling. Now that Biden shut down access to drilling projects, pipelines, production process projects in the U.S., he is reaching out to America's enemies to import oil and gas. It's no joke. There are currently has been reports on uh, attempts for you know, plans to do to do harm to some of the global some of the leaders, not global, but some of our United States leaders, which are global. Anyways. I won't read a lot about it because all it pretty much is is just I'm just letting you know that you know I did a piece on about Biden I'm sorry uh, Manchin wanting to open up the whales we currently have Biden is pushing the back against it he's 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 just he's wanting this is not an accident like I had said earlier there's a good chance that the decisions being made definitely aren't from him you know we know that there's some global leaders that are involved and kind of running the show, you know, Justin Trudeau, I talked about it earlier, you know, he was, there was no way he could release any, you know, bring up, bring back any of those mandates. 
because of the fact it wasn't up to him. He had no, and same thing with these Biden people. They, they, there's nothing, you know, until we actually get the people to, to come straight forward and say, this is what we're doing. We're going to have a hard time because we're fighting a gray area in, a, in an information war because of such. But uh, today at one o'clock, which I'm a little bit missed the mark here because I've been busy, there's a, a press conference, live stream voter GA to re release a report on the 2020 people picking process and how it was electronically manipulated. Anyhow, I'm pretty sure we've, if you're here, you've already seen a lot of that. But if you want to look at it, I'll link the article in the description. It'll take you to the video that'll be set aside so you can watch it. Uh, then all, and in, in Russia, and I'm, I'm not going to take sides. There's just a lot of, a lot of propaganda coming out about that. So we're going to stay off of that for right now. I know that just both people are bad. The whole situation is bad. War is bad. Anything that Soros says to do, go the other way. If, if, if you, you know, if you know anything. And then uh, Kamala Harris. <laughs> I did a little short earlier. I love to have fun with things. I do have an imagination, y'all. So forgive me sometimes if my videos are somewhat childish. But we all got to laugh a little bit. I'm 40 years old. I like to have fun. And if I'm if I can still laugh at stuff like that at 40 and and uh, you know still have somewhat of a pro, you know you know still acceptable in public. Hey, y'all will have some fun. So if you check out my short with Kamala Harris. But uh, she says here, quote, we have the ability to see what can be unburdened by what has been and then make the possible actually happen. Which means, in short, short, in short hey, forget we just told you that you're racist and you're an awful person. We're going to lock you down and force you into a medical tyranny and lose your job. Uh, uh, just don't worry about that right now. Let's, but we've got to move on to this other thing now. We're doing Ukraine now, so don't worry about that. You know, you know, I, that that's basically the whole the whole thing them pretty much just trying their best to uh, save face for all the nasty things that they did to us and for the past almost two years now we notice I think these upcoming months of 2022 things certainly have changed a lot now is it up is it because of us partially is it because of midterms partially um, is it a key movement a key point and in in like remember I talked about before about when it comes to uh, getting the public to succumb to certain things, you have these scenarios that are played out. And psychological operations are performed every day through mainstream media, television shows, and famous people. And they might not even know they're involved. I'm not calling famous people the psychological operators. I'm just saying that they take part of this. A lot of times, even in college courses, if you go to school and you, you enter into a certain course, you could be part of an experiment for the class and not even know it. It's part of the whole learning process. Now, the common people like us, we don't know that. We just think it's what we're watching is what, you know, it's just either it's just BS or it's just some fictional material, just something to watch on TV. But really, a lot of these things are strategically placed on certain television shows at certain times for certain people to create certain situations. You've got to be aware of that. So, remember that whenever you see all these things that are going on with how they're changing up, how they're doing things in public. What they're going to do is they're going to re they're going to act like they're not doing anything and pull back all their little mandates and pull back on stuff. The, there's, the option is always on the table for them to reinstate every mean thing that they're doing when it comes to medical tyranny. Now, going back to what I said earlier, things really haven't lit up as much as people think. There's a lot of tyranny happening in California. Uh, New York is letting up a lot, but it's still happening. There's a lot of states right now, like Biden said, we cannot implement these mandates on a federal level, but what we will do is try to implement them on a state level. So that means that boop, 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 you get on all the phone calls with all the Soros district attorneys and all the Soros grassroots elected people, and you allow for legislation to take place on a grassroots level so that they can do this. So be prepared for that to happen. And when it happens like that, usually it's not announced to the public. They have these meetings. They are public meetings, but they're scheduled at weird times. There's not a lot of, of advertisements so that you know that they're going on. So they kind of happen behind closed doors. So be very, very aware that the reason why you have this convoy doing what they're doing is because they need it. And the Constitution has already got it in paper that this isn't supposed to happen. The Nuremberg Code says this isn't supposed to happen, but apparently we have to have a mass reawakening so people understand that this is not supposed to be happening. So, back to the whole thing. Uh, i got to check that vehicle, so i got to wrap it up. But Arizona Republicans looking to repeal language and bill change in precinct comet comedian, comedian, 
Oh, I can't read that well, so don't mess with me. Election rules. Okay, just look into that right there. I can't read a lot of that language. And uh, there's something that's going on with the, the should be ashamed of themselves. Arizona Republicans get caught to rebuke Trump and change rules over precinct co uh, comma team. Comma I don't, I'm sorry if I can't. Some of those words just trip me up. But I'll do the best I can. Thank you all very much. And I'll just read a little bit about this, and I'll get out of here because a lot of people has got stuff going on, so we'll jump out of here. Last Sunday on February 27th, President Trump released a statement in the support of the precinct strategy organizing and enlisting America First Patriots to the local county Republican Party, committees, positions, which are too often left vacant. So this was too much for some Republican elites. On Thursday, Arizona lawmakers came together to pass an emergency bill radically in altering how the precinct committeemen, maybe I got it right that time, committeemen, okay, Yay, we're learning together. You get to see me progress. <laughs> uh, we'll be selected in the state. This assault on precinct strategy was sponsored by Horrible Rhino, Arizona Speaker Rusty Bauer, which we know about that fool. Republican lawmakers overwhelmingly support the legislation. Uh, so anyhow, I'll put all these li links, these stuff in here and all, and uh, we're going to jump out of here and finish up this Jeep. I'm going to work late tonight. I told people I wasn't going to, but I'm, gonna, I'm going to because I've got to push through a few things. So uh, thank you all very, very much. If I, you know, in the comments, you could uh, just love the comments. I love seeing all people out there. And I will respond as much as I can. The past few days I've been a little hit and miss because of my busyness and my time off for the weekend because I was super duper tired. But uh, I really thank everybody. And um, Shannon at Devoted Patriot, you know, we got Fox and Archibald show. I'll, I'll link stuff in the description. I'll do the best I can for links. YouTube takes them down. But bear with me because uh, we're just out here trying to save America. So thank you all so very, very much. And lots of love to all the world. God's in control.